Hey guys, it's Danny Son here. It's uh, it's definitely been a while since I've done an actual like vlog, but uh, school's been keeping me pretty busy. But yeah, uh, the other week I got new glasses. Um, I really didn't like them at first because I thought that uh, they made my eyes look a little little buggy. You know, I get like, big bug eyes. But I'm warming up to them, so it's all good. I have some good news to report. I got my orders last week. So I'll finally be going to sunny San Diego on the 23rd of November. That's when my flight leaves. So I have to be all done with school by the 22nd, which uh, all things considered, it's looking pretty likely. So I'll be able to get done with school way before that date and uh, basically just chill out on hold for a couple days. So yeah, um, things are definitely starting to look up for me. And uh, it was really tough at first, especially, you know, going through the classes because I'm more of a software guy at heart. So dealing with uh, like voltage, and current, and capacitors, and resistors, and ductors, transistors, and all this other stuff um, was really hard to get used to. So, but thankfully my uh, instructor has been uh, very informative and I guess you could say like patient <laughs> with me and all my questions so yeah um, got about six and a half days worth of work left to do and I'm basically just taking it easy over the weekend so I can recharge the batteries so that way when the beginning of this week comes I can just plow right through all that stuff if you guys are wondering uh, where in San Diego I'll be since there's uh, multiple military bases I'll be stationed at a place called uh, Point Loma, which is, according to Wikipedia, a seaside community of San Diego. And uh, the base is a lot smaller than the base here in Great Lakes. It's about a quarter of the size. So everything's within like a maybe one, two mile radius. Which is good because if you gotta go to the, you know, the, uh, the store, or if you gotta go to like the galley, you don't have to walk for miles to get from one point to the other. It's all within a quick walking distance. Uh, but on the other hand, if uh, you're a little behind in class and you don't have time to go out and do stuff, then you can get uh, pretty antsy. But I mean, I don't care. I'm going to be in San Diego. I'm going to be in California. I mean, the weather's like 70 degrees, 80 degrees out there. Actually, I think this week it's going to be a little cold in the 60s. Ooh. Better wear my jacket for that. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, here in uh, Great Lakes, um, the winds can get pretty fierce at times, and uh, it's also starting to feel a lot like winter. And uh, it's, it's just getting cold, and, and even though I'm from Ohio, I don't really like the cold. I mean, sure, if there's snow, it looks great, as long as I don't have to drive in it or walk in it too much. But overall, I don't think I'll really miss Chicago too much. I mean, obviously walking through downtown Chicago, it was, it was great, and there's a lot of really awesome architecture. But as far as this base goes, I like it, but, I, you know, I've pretty much done my job here. So you know, I'm get, looking forward to uh, going to my next uh, command. Been uh, keeping in touch with all the guys from my boot camp division. Um, one guy is on his way to a frigate out in uh, Florida. He just left. To go on, he went uh, on leave a couple days ago, so he's going to be with his family before he actually goes on board. And uh, another guy's going to be stationed in uh, San Diego. He's got shore duty. Uh, another one of my one of uh, the guys that I hang out with here. He's he's got shore duty in uh, Virginia. That's uh, not Norfolk. It's uh, some other place in Virginia. Virginia Beach. That's what it was. I just don't remember that. Um, so things are looking up for them too. It's just every day I still can't believe that I graduated boot camp, you know, over two months ago. And that I've been here on this base for over two months. It just, you know, some days, you know, I feel like I just got off the bus in my dress whites, you know, and just got plopped here. And sometimes on other days, it feels like, you know, I've been on this base forever. So, you know, it's just, it's kind of weird how time passes, especially when you're in the Navy. It just, like, 
I guess it, you feel like you get more done per day. Like, I can't believe I got so much schoolwork done in one day, you know, here, as compared to, you know, when I was in ITT Tech or even over at Urbana. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You know, maybe the other guy, Navy guys can uh, vouch for the weird feeling of time passage. Uh, but, I mean, if you guys are wondering about how uh, A school is or, you know, how training is over here, um, it is a lot like college. I will say that it's, in fact, some sometimes it's eerily a lot like college. Like, I mean, you got the same, you know, roommate BS that you got to deal with. Um, I mean, if you've been to college before, like a real college, not like a, a technical school, but like a college you've been in, a, you know, you live in, lived in a dorm, dorm room setting, you've had to deal with roommates, and if you've done that already, and you come to this base, you're going to find, it's, I mean, seriously, it's, it's almost real how much this is like college, but obviously the big differences are, uh, you know, that it's, you know, you gotta wear a uniform. Actually, you gotta wear multiple uniforms. <laughs> but, uh, you wear a uniform, you come down for um, head counts, they call it muster. Um, you gotta, you have duty days where you, like, clean the ship or you stand watches, and you have to earn certain phases of liberty in order to wear civilian clothes or go out, go out on overnight liberty. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of uh, big differences between college and um, a Navy training facility, but there's still a lot of similarities. Kind of got off on a tangent there, but it's just, um, yeah, school's going really well now, and uh, I told myself, uh, like, a little after I got my orders that I want to take out a loan in my bank, uh, but I have to wait till the six-month anniversary of uh, me joining the bank in order to take out a loan so that way I have a like a history with that bank so it makes them uh, it makes it more likely I'll be approved for such a loan and uh, I'm just taking out like a little starter loan to kind of help build up my credit uh, they said I could withdraw I believe it's five to six hundred dollars and I'm gonna be using that money for a new guitar and uh, I'm not gonna actually buy it before I go to San Diego because I don't want to risk it getting damaged in the flight. So I'm going to wait till I actually get to San Diego and uh, get all settled in and everything. And then I'm going to go out for my five to $600, buy a nice guitar or, or get one online. I have my eye on several of them. Um, I'm kind of juggling between either like a, I like this uh, Dean ML, like the guitars that uh, Dimebag Daryl used to play. Um, there's this one in a bluebird finish that I think is really good. Um, some of the pictures make it look like a really light blue, but in actuality, it's actually a lot darker than that. So um, I watched this one guy play it, and it sounds really good. And uh, it's a fixed bridge, so you know I don't have a whammy bar or anything like that. But in all honesty, I don't really incorporate whammy tricks into my guitar playing. So it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, the closest thing I had to a whammy bar was my Strat. Even then, I hardly ever used it, so it's not that real big of a deal to me. Um, also juggling between that guitar and uh, possibly buying a PRS SE1 and modifying it some. Also thinking about just getting like a classic Les Paul or like a an SG. Um, there's also an Epiphone Wilshire uh, that I played a while ago that's, that one's a pretty good candidate as well. But I'm thinking I'm, for the first guitar I'm going to be going for the Dean ML because <laughs> I just like the way it looks and I've never really had a problem playing with Deans, especially the necks. The necks have been really, really solid and I just like the look of the ML. I mean. I really wanted to get the Dean from Hell, but in all honesty, I feel that if I would buy that guitar, people are gonna be like, "Oh, you think you're dying back, Daryl? You think you know? Can you play Cowboys from Hell? What about Cemetery Gates? Oh my God, dude, are you like a Pantera cover band?" 
And, uh, well, that's just a problem with signature guitars in general. So, I mean, I didn't want to be put in that situation. I still wanted to uh, get a guitar in that body shape without people thinking that I'm trying to be Dimebag Daryl or something, you know? And that was kind of the same thing that I felt about getting a Jackson Kelly. Because that was my second guitar choice, was getting a Jackson Kelly. But I didn't want everybody to think I was Marty Friedman or something. <laughs> Um, and besides, the only Jackson Kellys with set necks that I could see without actually going to the custom shop was uh, ones with Floyds in them. And I mean, Floyds are cool. You can do a lot of cool stuff with them. But with my playing style, it's not really conducive because I have my hands set on the bridge so hard that it might like detune things a bit. And just I don't know. I don't really use the wave bar that much anyway, so whatever. Um, but yeah, and if I have any money left over. I'll see if I can uh, maybe buy uh, buy an amp or something. I got my eyes set on several amps, like the uh, the PV Viper is a good choice. I'm also thinking about getting uh, a Jet City amp. Uh, I've heard lots and lots of uh, YouTube videos, people playing that amp, and it just sounds great. So yeah, <laughs> I guess this vlog went on a little bit longer than expected, but I just. I just wanted to get some things out there so you guys know that I'm still alive and kicking and I'm almost to San Diego and uh, things are looking really good for me so far. So yeah, this is the Andy song, signing off for now. Uh, thank you guys for uh, still sticking with me even though I don't update nearly as much as I used to. Uh, I, I can't thank you guys enough for you know, just reading my blogs, um, subscribing to me on uh, YouTube, on Twitter, um, just sending me all your Navy questions, um, just commenting on my videos, favoriting them, liking them. I mean, it, you know, at the end of the day, it just, it, it really means a lot, knowing that putting so much work and so much effort into these videos, you know, people are starting to, you know, like them. And it's just, it's, it's a really good feeling, especially, you know, at the end of the day when you've worked really hard and you get it out there and people are like, oh my God, that's so cool and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm rambling again. So uh, once again, this is the Andy song, signing off for now. And as always, see you next time. Bye guys.